What's going on YouTube? Logic Pro just had a massive freaking update. Logic 10.7. We haven't seen the update since like last December and this this one's actually pretty big. It's not like one of those like just bug fixes ones. Like they actually did some work to some stuff. So the main thing I'm gonna be going over is the Logic uh, step sequencer today. There's a couple more things maybe I'll cover in the next video like the Dolby Atmos mixing but the step sequencer is what I want to focus on today it might be a new way to recreate melodies even quicker than like in the piano roll so let's just stay tuned for that all right so we're gonna start off with our hi-hat pattern so they added a new feature to pattern region um, allows you to record in MIDI actually, like from your keyboards and whatnot. Or you could use like Command K, like musical typing on uh, Logic. But so what you do is you go up to this little button right here, it says chord, and you click play. Let's see, we're doing hi-hats, so. Let's say you wanted to do that. Um, now you got hi-hats in there even quicker than you probably would or if you just want to have like a little more realistic feel to your shiz okay one other thing that you can do is um, you can actually add automation as well so let's say let's go into quick sampler we can make this a tad bigger so you guys can see let's say you want to like adjust the filter you can click record again and while you're playing it you can just adjust the filter which is pretty cool. Gives it a little rhythm when you do that. So I believe you can use probably almost any like thing with inside Quick Sampler to do effects like that. Uh, let's just add our piano. Oh shoot, pattern region. Um, they added scale helpers. So you can pick any scale you want. So let's say I want a C sharp natural minor. These will adjust just to that. Like you can build chords just like this. So let's say you want to build a chord off the root note of C sharp. You want to click command or option command. And that's going to tie the note together to make it longer. Option command and then drag. Or command option. I think it's option command. And you want to skip a note and then put another one. Skip another note, put another one. And that is a C sharp triad right there. Pretty freaking cool. And we can build a C sharp major triad. That's just like super basic, not like a super good melody. I just want to show you guys what you can do with it. And then you can copy this pattern over with option and drag, copy it over to your 808 or something. And you can now put the step sequencer in, mo in mono instead of poly. So by clicking this uh, button right here, Let's just move this pad into a pad because that piano is annoying. Make the 
as a keep it step. And look how quick I have like a little beat right there. Like it's super simple. Like kind of crazy they actually added all this stuff to it. Um, oh, another thing is, so let me just pull this up here. So let's say you had a natural minor here, like an E minor, and you have a C major up here, and that's like your project key. You can go to edit. Um, wait, it's not edit, it's functions, and then you do transpose to project key and now you're in a C major with these notes so you want your drums to be within the key for some reason or if you're doing like a making chords within there you can do that and that's pretty much it for this video very cool you can this might be the new way I might start making my melodies it's quick it's very fast you can come up with a bass line a lot quicker, I feel like. And I don't know, it's pretty, pretty intuitive. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.